a young man who's been behind the scenes for many mornings for us, especially on Mondays and Tuesdays, those days when I put on my little weather hat and read it. Well, Paul Gross, the newest member of our News for Today crew, is the gentleman who has written that copy for me. I thank you for that and welcome you this morning to fill us in on our weather, Paul. Well, we have a big game coming up at Tiger Stadium, and of course, uh, we're going to do the best we can in the weather department, but we also have some churning going on in the Gulf Coast. We'll tell you more about Tropical Storm Floyd in just a few minutes, but outside right now, Partly cloudy skies, 37 degrees, humidity 79%. The barometer is falling, and we have a westerly breeze at 6 miles per hour. A chilly start to the day, but we're going to get some sunshine, so it shouldn't be all that bad by the time we reach afternoon. All right, Paul, thanks much. Janet Levin just told me it's 6.49 in my ear. It's time to go over to Paul Gross. In case you're joining us, Paul Gross has joined us on Mondays and Tuesdays as our weather forecaster. He's worked behind the scenes here for quite some time. And, Paul, it's a pleasure to have you aboard. Very happy to be here. I wish sure. I had some warmer temperatures to talk about this morning. But this is fall, and uh, we can expect these things. Outside right now, 37 degrees, 79 percent the humidity. The pressure is falling, and we have a light breeze out of the west, about 6 miles per hour. If we were to have a normal day today, the high would be 65 degrees, and the low this morning would be 42 degrees, the record 84, and the record low 26 degrees. A very chilly morning. Now, we have one of the warmest temperatures here in the southeastern part of the state. As you can see, again, 37 degrees. But notice, back to the northwest, well, mid-30s, and look at this, Lansing already at 31 degrees. Grand Rapids checked in with 27 degrees, a new record low for this date. So some very frosty conditions across parts of the state. The key is cloud cover. As you can see on the satellite picture, generally a partly cloudy situation across the Great Lakes. Where there are clear skies, temperatures are really starting to fall, as we've seen in Grand Rapids. But here in Detroit, still a few clouds around. We'll call it partly cloudy. That's what it officially is. And those of you in the suburbs who perhaps are getting some open sky, well, then you're going to see some much chillier temperatures this morning. Down in the southeast, Oh, a real mess going on. This is Tropical Storm Floyd. Latest information just in a few minutes ago from the Hurricane Center shows that the storm is now becoming better organized. Maximum winds now 70 miles per hour. That is borderline hurricane strength. If they were to increase to 75 miles per hour, then it would be a hurricane. It is moving to the north, but it's starting to turn a bit to the northeast. So right now, the biggest danger is to the Florida Peninsula. We'll certainly keep an eye on it and uh, update you through the morning hours as necessary. Later on today, well, Lots of fair skies across much of the nation. Again, just a few problems down in the southeast. Back to the southwest, just a few scattered showers, but really no great shakes. Generally a pretty nice day across much of the nation and around here. It really won't be all that bad. We're looking for a dry day. We'll see some partly cloudy skies as a little disturbance moves on through. So we'll see some sunshine, some clouds. Looks good for the ball game right now. I expect it to be dry with temperatures by mid-afternoon right around the 50 degree mark. Now for tomorrow, oh, that's going to be a winner. Look at this. Temperatures rebounding into the upper 50s with Plenty of sunshine around. Tomorrow is worth waiting for. Here's the forecast for the rest of this morning and for today. We're calling for partly cloudy skies. By morning or by afternoon, temperatures getting up to around 50 degrees. Tonight, clear and cold. Frost and freeze likely. Temperatures in the low 30s. And for the day tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with a high around 58 degrees, maybe near 60 degrees. Uh, certainly a, a encouraging forecast. i got to get these storm windows up, Paul. Keep that warm weather. After they were married in the Soviet Union, but Lana Braun, now a resident of Southfield, Michigan, and we welcome her. 650 is the temperature now. Let's find out. 650 is the time. It's not the temperature. No, no, it's a little cooler than that. <laughs> 650 <laughs> degrees. How's the weather? Well, the weather is not too bad for today, but we do have some rain moving in, and we'll give you the timetable on that in just a moment. Outside right now, cloudy skies. A mild start to the day, though, 41 degrees. 76% the humidity, a rising barometer, and a westerly breeze at about 10 miles per hour. The normal high for today is 43 degrees, the normal low is 29, and sunrise is just a few minutes past 7.30 this morning. It is a very mild morning across much of the state, as you can see here on the state map, generally mid to upper range of the 30s. Remember, normal is in the upper 20s, so it is a mild morning. 24 is the coolest reading we could find up at Marquette, 32 at the shoe. Here's the close-up view now from the satellite. A lot of cloud cover around, but down there behind my name, you can see a lot of breaks in the overcast, and we are going to see those gradually push this way during the course of the day. But, as you can see, there's another big area of clouds down to the south. There's a lot of moisture down to the south, and that's going to be carried this way by a good, strong flow out of the southwest, and we are going to see a lot of rain moving in here, perhaps as much as a half an inch to an inch of rain by the time we get through the later hours of the day tomorrow. Here's the surface features. This front here, nothing more than the dividing line between the warm air that we had here yesterday and the cool air back here to the northwest. This cool air is going to stay with us 
through the day today and in fact it's going to be only oh, maybe three four five degrees warmer than it is right now by the time we reach afternoon so not a lot of warming in the forecast but at least it's going to be dry that is the one saving grace and again we could see a few rays of sunshine today but mainly cloudy skies i think as that big system down to the southwest does begin pushing this way now for the day tomorrow one of those little storm systems that's going to track up the Ohio Valley is going to move just to our east, spreading a lot of rain. Now, not going to be your mother and nag you, but if you are doing some traveling tomorrow, the rain's going to change the snow with some accumulation across the northern part of the state. So do take care if you're heading up north for the holiday. Here's the forecast now for the rest of this morning and the balance of today. Some sun, once the sun comes up, but lots of clouds, mainly a cloudy day with a high around 45 degrees. During the overnight hours tonight, rain developing with temperatures getting into the mid to upper range of the 30s by morning. And tomorrow, we're just going to call it rain. There's going to be quite a bit of rain around here with temperatures only making it into the mid range of the 40s. But the rain looks like it's going to get out of here maybe in time for Thanksgiving. We'll have the complete extended forecast in just a couple minutes. Find out about that great Thanksgiving yeah. morning. When we come back on News 4 today, our morning sports update and a turkey at the White House. And when I come back, we'll take a look at our community calendar plus that extended forecast I promised. Outside right now, 41 degrees. It's 647 now. Let's go back over to Paul for the full weather forecast. What can we expect today? Rain, slow, snow, sleet? Yes. All of it. <laughs> All of it, yeah. It's in various stages through the course of the day. But uh, for the morning hours, that's where the biggest problem is going to be. Outside right now, cloudy skies. 32 degrees, so it's right at that freezing point. That is the key for the morning. 85% the humidity, a steady barometer, and a southeasterly breeze at 6 miles per hour, giving us a wind chill of 26. The normal high for today is 38 degrees. Normal low is 24. Record high is 62. Gorgeous degrees, set back in 1951. The record low, 1, back in 1885. Now, it's a uh, fairly typical morning for at least December across the state. As you can see, generally near 30 degrees here in the south, 31 at Lansing, and again, 32 here. But up north, where skies are clear, look at this, 14 at Alpena, 16 over at Sault Ste. Marie. Okay, this is the U.S. radar summary. Big band of rain down to our southwest that is moving to the northeast, so we are going to have to deal with that in due time. Out west, well, there's not a lot going on, just generally fair conditions with uh, just a few scattered showers, but this is the one big weather maker for us. It is moving in our direction, and of course, our weather watch radar keeps track of the precipitation through the course of the night. It is now just moving into the metro area, and as you can see, it's just not really moving in. It's sort of just developing and spreading to the north, and notice it's not moving very fast. It's just sort of creeping along into the metro area. Live radar now from Metro Airport will show you the area hasn't changed a lot. It has expanded a bit to the west and it's continuing to push to the northeast. Now this area here has a little bit of snow, a little freezing rain, a little freezing drizzle, a little sleet, ice pellets. Still time if there's anything else you want to throw in there. It's just a mixed bag and again it is moving into the metro area. Back on the map we go. Satellite picture shows you what's going on. A lot of cloud cover. Now notice the storm system down in Louisiana. Normally, that's not going to affect us. However, there is sort of a broad line of low pressure just extending out of the low to the northeast. That is what's kicking off that line of shower activity that we saw on the radar summary. Now, this low is going to track to the east. The low we don't have to deal with. It's just this area right here that we're going to have to keep an eye on through the course of the day. Specifically across the state today, well, rain during the afternoon for us. During the morning, that's when we have to kind of worry about that mixed bag. But up north, if you have any travel plans up north, that's where they're going to start to get the freezing rain and the snow. And for tomorrow, well, the rain's going to be here with a little bit of fog, so you might as well get used to it. Here's the forecast now for the balance of this morning and the remainder of today. Light snow and freezing rain this morning, changing to rain, I'd say by noon. It doesn't look to be a big problem, but if you are going to be out during the mid-morning hours, you want to keep an eye out. There may be some slick spots out there. High today, at least during the afternoon, around 38 degrees. For the overnight hours tonight, now just periods of light rain with a little bit of fog developing. Foggy start tomorrow morning with a low around 35. And tomorrow, periods of light rain with a high getting into the 40s, 41 degrees. So if there is one saving grace, it's going to be wet, but at least it's going to be balmy. Well, this is a good time to be careful. That's yes. for sure out on the highways. Let's check in with Bill Alexander. Are they being careful out there, Bill? Well, I'll we could use a little magic today, especially in the weather department. It was awful out there tonight. Yeah, and it's not over yet. There, the rain has stopped for just a moment, but uh, there is more rain out there. We'll show you that on radar in a moment. Outside right now, 
very warm for this time of year. Look at this, 37 degrees at City Airport, 38 at Metro, 79% the humidity. Barometer's falling, that's not good news, and winds are out of the south at 16 miles per hour. Here's the almanac to show you how we compare to normal. 38's the current temperature and the high, that compares well above normal, 34 is the normal high, 32 was our low this morning, 11 degrees above normal, and look at, there's your record low, six below zero, set way back last century. Well, our weather watch radar, of course, keeps track of the rainfall all morning and all afternoon long. This starts in late afternoon into the evening hours. Notice a huge area of rain with just continuous bands of rain just pouring into the area, and this happened pretty much all afternoon and all evening. Now, notice, we're going to see the pattern start to break up just a little bit, and indeed, the rain has, for at least the time being, moved out of the area. Let's now switch over to live radar. We'll show you what's going on right now. Now, as you can see, just a few scattered areas of showers across the area, and that, I think, is going to be the trend for the next few hours, but if you take a look at U.S. radar, there is a big batch of rain down to the southwest. Look at this, this huge area here. Once you know it, it's moving our way, and uh, it looks like there's really no way that we can miss out on this thing. Let's look over at the satellite picture now. You can see even better, nice big swirl in the pattern. That indicates a very well-developed storm system. And what's happening now, this storm is moving to the northeast. Back further to the west, we have a cold front, the front edge of some cold air. That is moving east as well. So these two are going to converge right over the state, wouldn't you know it, during the morning hours tomorrow. So again, there's almost no way that we can miss out on the rain. But once this thing gets through, there is drier air back there, and that should cut off the rain activity, and we may get a little bit of snow shower activity tomorrow night with the colder air as it works its way in. But look at overnight lows tonight. Ahead of the storm system, warm air surging northward. We will be in the 30s, 40s. Overnight lows in the 40s, pushing well into Ohio and Indiana and back further to the west. You can see very cold air. Some areas not getting to 10 degrees. Now, parts of the state tonight are not getting rain. They're getting freezing rain and snow over the northern part of the state, so they have a freezing rain and snow advisory. Just snow across the northern part of the state in the upper peninsula. They may get a half a foot of snow before it's all over, maybe even a little bit more during the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow, windy but mild with rain in the morning. You can see 43 for the high, and then for the day on Monday, cooler. It's back to reality. Look at that, back down to freezing. All right, here's the forecast now for tonight. We're looking for rain with areas of fog. Temperatures rising to near 40 degrees by morning with a very good breeze out of the southwest, 10 to 20. Sunday, rain ending in the afternoon, becoming very windy with a high of 43 degrees, turning cooler towards sunset. Then for Sunday night, continued cloudy and breezy with some snow showers. Temperatures getting into the upper 20s by morning. And here's how it breaks down for the rest of the week. Looks like uh, some rain with uh, maybe more rain on Wednesday. Temperatures very, very much in the upper 30s, so it doesn't look like a white Christmas right now. Ugh. Some snow would be welcome right about it now. Certainly would. This is the only time of year where snow is welcome around here. Okay, thanks, yeah. Paul. What? Back here in the real world, uh, we're <laughs> digging out today from, what, eight inches or so of snow? I think most people got about five to seven inches, and mm -hmm. that was pretty steady across the area. A little sunshine today. Yeah, to that. yeah, a little sunshine, but we have a lot of wind, and that's creating a very cold wind chill situation. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Outside right now, mostly sunny skies, as Dan just said. Crystal clear skies in some areas. Temperature. 24 degrees at both airports, humidity 57%, a rising barometer, barometer rising very rapidly. That's what's giving us a very strong wind out of the north at 21 miles per hour. It gives us a wind chill of five degrees below zero. That's how it actually feels outside. And here's the almanac to show you how we're comparing to normal. Well, the, the high earlier today was 30 degrees, and uh, of course we've fallen to our current temperature of 24. Those are both well, very close to normal. And here you see the records, both of them set way back last century, sunset, 5.09 this afternoon, and yes, we will see the sunset. Okay, temperatures across the state at the noon hour are very much on the chilly side. Now, again, generally mid-20s here in the south, but look up north. Current temperatures, these are actual temperatures, are in the teens with Sault Ste. Marie. They're holding down the fort with only 8 degrees, but if you factor in the wind, it feels a lot colder. This is the wind chill now. It feels as if it's 9 below at the Sioux, 12 below at Alpena, 6 below at Bay City, again 5 below here, but back to our west, the winds start to diminish just a bit. You can see Muskegon, 18 degrees, and Green Bay and Chicago checking in with a pair of 11s, and so with uh, winds diminishing during the nighttime hours tonight, we will see our wind chill start to go up, and that's certainly good news. I have some good news for you. At least here's the U.S. satellite picture, and you can see that the cloud cover is starting to break up across the Great Lakes and the areas down to our south. That's due chiefly to high pressure trying to work its way in, but we are still really under the dominance of this big storm off the east coast. Now, this is not the exact same storm that came through here yesterday. The storm that came through here yesterday more or less transferred its punch or its energy to that storm off the east coast, and that is punching a whale of a punch off uh, just off the Cape Cod area. In fact, they're expecting about five to eight inches, much like we had over the Boston area, and uh, some of the islands offshore may get as much as a foot width 
some areas picking up 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts, so true blizzard conditions prevailing along the northern New England seaboard. But for the rest of us, just cold air streaming on down from Canada. That's pushing all the way down into Florida. And get this, if you know anybody in Florida, they are going to see at Miami Beach overnight lows in the mid 40s tonight with the northern part of Florida dropping down to near freezing. So I'm sure that they have some frost and freeze warnings in effect down that way, at least in the northern part of Florida. Here's U.S. radar real quick. Just lots of dry air back here in the central plains, but just, again, you can see that big storm just churning just offshore in the New England seaboard. Okay, so around here this afternoon, a lot of sunshine with a few clouds just kind of drifting on through from time to time. Temperatures not budging much, generally holding in the mid-20s, but again, wind chills will be near zero, if not below zero. Tonight, very cold. When you wake up tomorrow, the overnight low should be about 10 degrees. You may have trouble starting your car in the morning, but for the day tomorrow, more sunshine. Temperatures getting back up to near 30 degrees. Real nice day tomorrow. Okay, here's the forecast for the rest of today. Mostly sunny skies. High of 27 degrees, but as I've mentioned several times, the wind chill is near zero. That's what you should dress for. For the overnight hours tonight, mostly fair skies. Diminishing winds with a low near 10. And then for the day tomorrow, mostly sunny with a high of 29 degrees. And as I mentioned a little earlier in the newscast, there could be a bit of a problem come New Year's Eve. We'll talk more about that in the extended forecast. Another storm coming in. Yep. Okay, thank you, Paul.